fuck makes me want to go home and watch Breaking Bad? I don't know why. Okay, um, Mark Duggar, I'm the founder of UWorth. Uh, how many in the room have ever uh, negotiated a salary? All right. Has anyone ever feared leaving that after that negotiation they, they left money on the table? Or maybe they overshot and, uh, you know, yeah, never. Uh, so me too. Uh, I'm, you know, constantly in that situation. So this is why I built uh, UWorth. Uh, UWorth is Zillow for the global job market. Uh, the problem is, is that uh, professionals, uh, you know, we, we spend a lot of time, um, you know, investing in our skills and education and work history, and we want to maximize that return um, as best we can. Uh, but we lack uh, an easy, uh, convenient, and precise resource to determine that, uh, that fair market value. You may recognize some of these pain points, uh, fear of being underpaid, uh, fear of c your current skills declining in value. Uh, uncertainty of the market uh, when negotiating a salary. Maybe you've been on the job for a couple of years and you're uh, going back into the market. Um, and, and again, just a reliable resource um, and, and most importantly, like recent post-negotiation salary data, not just job listings. Uh, you worth you sol solves this problem um, by uh, e providing estimates um, from LinkedIn profiles uh, using an intelligent pricing engine uh, that uh, constantly uh, analyzes the LinkedIn profiles and, and data sources, um, like job listings and salary surveys, uh, and it looks at the intersection of those two data sets um, and uh, it, it identifies uh, basically uh, data patterns in those, in those large data sets. Uh, when it does, uh, when it identifies a new data signal, uh, it, it'll notify you uh, immediately of, the, of those changes. Uh, whether it's a particular skill you're fall interested in uh, or your uh, particular uh, job value. Um, and the convenience is, is that we're, we're uh, live on both Android and iOS, so it's a mobile application. I'm gonna walk you through the Android uh, app real quick. Um, the, 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 the default screen is basically your dashboard. At the top it has your uh, job market value, it also has all your skills and you could add uh, skills that maybe you're uh, considering uh, learning, you know, adding to, or you, it's kind of like a, a watch list. Um, tapping through any of those, you, you can see uh, a chart uh, where the, 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 the price change is charted over time, could be days, weeks, or months, uh, with also some context uh, below. Uh, the the uh, screenshot on the left is actually, uh, I'm pretty excited to talk about this, it's uh, our latest feature called Experiments. Uh, so what this allows you to do is basically A-B test your career development. Uh, you, can, you can enter uh, one or more skills and UWorth will instantly uh, tell you how that will affect your job market value. Uh, once you identify skills you want to learn, uh, we're going to you know, present uh, a list of textbooks and online courses that you could take uh, to acquire that skill. Um, again, you can follow uh, not only your own value, uh, but also uh, any, any skill uh, for, and get notified of price updates uh, in real time. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, there's a LinkedIn, uh, we, use, we leverage LinkedIn data. Um, there's an easy way to basically import all of your uh, skills, education, work history, all the data that we need um, to uh, calculate it. Uh, the business model is, is, is a freemium uh, model. Uh, basic features uh, are free. Um, the uh, premium features uh, are subscription-based, and the pricing depends on the number of months you, uh, you sign up for. Uh, the, mar the market opportunity, as I see it, uh, there are 750 million LinkedIn users. Um, 20, only 25% actually log in to LinkedIn uh, each month. Um, and then based on the current subscription rate, uh, I see a potential annual revenue opportunity of, of uh, just north of uh, $1 million. Uh, we have some competition, some names you may recognize, some you may not because they're new entrants, uh, but uh, UWorth is the only one uh, of any of these that, that offers a LinkedIn integration and real-time pricing. Um, and the others, uh, obviously we also have uh, mobile clients, we have the personalization, um, as well as the forecasting, the experiments I just spoke about. 
the growth strategy is a, is a, a virtuous uh, circle of acquisition, retention, and product dev. Um, obviously, we collect data. We also generate a, a ton of data. Um, and we're going to uh, basically uh, not only engage users with, uh, with those price updates, but also aggregate that data, slice and dice it, and, and present it in, in different uh, market analysis. I actually have two questions. So my first one is, are you, are you targeting specific industries for this? It looks like your examples were tech. And if tech is where you're starting or where you're planning on utilizing it, how do you reconcile the fact that a lot of developers despise LinkedIn and don't use it? Because <laughs> that takes away one of your biggest differentiators from your competitors. Yeah, so that, that's actually news to me. I'm a long time programmer, um, and, and you're right to identify that. Uh, that okay. <laughs> so, so in, uh, real quick, in the, sh in the short run, you're right. You identified that this, it's very heavily tech. Um, that just naturally, occur well, sort of naturally occurred and um, just the nature of what I do, I'm targeting them. Uh, but, but certainly in the long run, LinkedIn was the easy onboarding. In the long run, yes, there would be uh, build out some uh, feature where you could basically populate your profile or you, you know, your user account without, without LinkedIn. Um, kind of piggybacking on what she just said, because I was an IT recruiter too, three years, just, just got out of it. Um, so if you need a job, I know some people. Um, but do you kind of, I guess, maybe plan to expand, maybe as looking to do resumes instead of just LinkedIn? Because like she said, I couldn't find a lot of people on LinkedIn because they didn't want to use it. Um, and, or they were outdated or, I mean, several, several things like that. So is there a plan to expand or just stay to LinkedIn? Yeah, actually, um, I was talking to Cody uh, during the, the happy hour, uh, he, who is also a recruiter, and I was uh, telling him that, yes, uh, this is a, uh, right now, currently, it's a B2C strategy, uh, but certainly there's a roadmap for, for B2B, which is where I think most of the, um, uh, the revenue uh, will, will be found. And um, I was sharing with him an idea uh, where we, it would be a, um, a matching service between recruiters and, and, and candidates, uh, which... Uh, I think it's you know fairly innovative, but that's going to be down the road. Why do you decide to build an app as opposed to just keep platform? Because it's not something that needs to be sticky, right? So if I'm a developer, I don't use this every day. I use this once, twice a year. So why choose build an app as opposed to just keep it online? Um, so, so a lot of the competitors do have online presence. A few have mobile apps, etc. Um, the, the the similarities to a stock market app uh, is, is is intentional. Um, I'm, I'm trying to create somewhat of a fun factor where, um, like most of you, if you have a stock portfolio, you're probably buy and hold. You don't really need to know exactly on a day-to-day -day basis what that stock is valued, but you check it anyway, right? Um, so it's, it's somewhat of an engagement, some, somewhat of a sticky uh, element uh, for users. I, I, I would prefer them to be using uh, the app um, more than just once a year, et cetera. Um, so in your competitor slide, I actually didn't see LinkedIn on there. So right. if, if LinkedIn decided to get together with salary.com, are you out of business? Uh, it's possible, yes. Very likely that that, that could happen. Um, what I like to think of, is, and I'm an optimist, is that LinkedIn would, <laughs> would actually take an interest in what I've done um, and, and acquire it rather than uh, actually um, you know, building their own. But uh, if you looked at LinkedIn, LinkedIn lately, I don't think they have a great track record of building great products, but it's my opinion. Two quick questions. First, do you have any partnerships current or planned with training companies for increasing one's own value? And second, how can we help you out? That, that, that would be, that's a great idea. I would love to do that. In fact, the, um, you know, right now the, the books are coming from Amazon and, and iTunes. Uh, the online courses are coming from uh, Udemy, but uh, it's, it's all quite uh, basic. I would, I would love, I don't have any plans for that, but that would be a, a great um, uh, partnership is to actually bring um, you know, training companies in to, uh, to, to uh, help people acquire those skills. Uh, your other question is, what do I need from the community? Um, I, I need eyeballs on it. Uh, we just started marketing in January, uh, even though the apps were built prior to that. But um, th there's been um, you know, a, a lot of uh, bugs that I fixed uh, over that time period. Um, and if you download the app, I hope you're a long-time user. If you're not, 
please tell me like what, what what's it what's it missing what does it lack that would be awesome i mean any kind of feedback so for uh the non-it recruiting space for hr professionals have you validated um the fact that hr professionals are factoring in individual skills to their um salary ranges or is it solely based on market and then if that's the case if it's based on market versus skill sets how do you plan on reconciling the difference between the two so right now we have it's primarily based on skill set um, but certainly there are um, uh, plans for regional um, adjustments uh, based on that salary and um, it is very likely going to be um, <laughs> That was good. 